Hey everybody, Rachel K. Collier here. I've got a life-changing music production video for you today. I am going to be giving you a tour of one of my absolute favourite plugins for creating beats, XLN Audio's XO. XO is an extremely fast, easy and an inspiring way to make grooves. I absolutely love it and I do think that if you're a brand new to music production, this is a great way to get started. But also, if you're a complete pro, XO is awesome for breaking up your usual workflow and inspiring and generating new ideas. I've been using it to make drums for a while now and you have probably seen it pop up in videos on my channel. So I was absolutely chuffed when XLN themselves reached out to me in November and said, RKC, do you want to create your own XO expansion pack? So of course I said yes, I recorded 155 original drum samples and 39 presets and I'm also going to dive in and show you that later. Right, let's get into it, let's start the XO World Tour. So destination one on the EXO World Tour and the first thing you're going to see when you open this plugin is the lovely space. So here it is, the space is where we will find all of the drum samples that come with the EXO's core content and also samples that you might also tell EXO to go and look through. It organises them with this AI algorithm and it puts all the long and low samples down here in the southwest. And then as we move all the way up to the northeast, we have got all the very high pitched and shorter samples. So what it means is we might find a kick drum here, which we're kind of feeling, but we may want to try some others that are similar and we can use the similarity feature here to scroll through and find the right kick drum. If I like this kick drum, I'm just going to click here and load it in. So even as just a tool to organize your samples, you're already going to shave so much time by using the EXO space. Okay, so destination number two, and I think the best place to get started is the preset menu. So if we head over here, we can see I've loaded in a four on the floor, nice simple little groove, but if we click this here, we're gonna come to a huge menu of preset grooves. Now where it gets exciting, it's not just a straight up preset with a pattern. If we click this arrow here, we can change every sound of the drum kit. Or if there's just one sound in particular we don't like, we can change that here. Scroll around the space. We can do it with these arrows or we can again select and click here to drop it in. The core content has loads of these different grooves that we can load in and exchange the sounds. You can spend hours going through the different grooves here. Some of mine are pretty cool. Switch up the sounds. And what I really love about going through these presets is by the time you're finished with experimenting in EXO, you're really gonna have made this preset your own. So one of the coolest things, when I was recording my samples, sampling Vicky o Neon, cutting out different phrases from some of my songs, I loaded in the folder and then just using my sounds, I tried my sounds with some of EXO's presets and it was the best feeling ever. So if you've got some drum samples that you absolutely love, definitely load them in, use that folder and only use those samples and then trying it out with some of the EXO core content patterns or of course some of the patterns from the new expansion packs. The next place we need to go, destination number three, the edit space. So here is where you're going to spend lots of time when you're actually building your grooves and doing your sound design. Here we've got all our kind of sound shaping, sound design tools for each individual hit and down here we've got master effects and things like that. But what we're going to look at right now is the sequencer window. And to draw in notes, very very simple, we just can click. So we can click a whole line if we want to. There's our toms. 
if we click and sort of move your mouse up and down you can get the different velocities which is really really important and then this is very fun if you click just below it you can see we can give ourselves little rolls <laughs> remember we can change the sound just with these arrows and if we click the note here we can click it and jump back to the space now currently it's only viewing my samples so I'm going to turn on all of the other fun samples that are available and you'll notice here we've got along the side we've got different groove options that are available to us so we can swing things we can nudge notes a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right We've also got this super fun button here, the Ascenuator, which if we turn it on, we can generate random kind of velocity shapes. So listen to this little groove up here now. This is to turn on the Ascenuator for this pattern. Or we can go... Randomize again. We are now going to have a little look at the sound design tools we have got here within the edit window. So I've just loaded in a nice high energy preset. But now let's dive to the sound design tools because there is lots we can do here with each individual hit. So if I click here, we can hear all the hits. We've got the simple stuff um, here, like the volume, just to turn the hit up or down. We've got the EQ here, we've got the high pass, low pass. And then of course we've got the pitch. And then we've got the pan, we can put it in the left or the right. The most fun are the FX sends. We've got two sends to play with down here, FX1 and FX2. We've got a choice of lots of kind of reverbs and delays. So let's put something really dramatic on so we can hear it. Woo! And then we've got the master effect here. The minute is fuzzy, degrade. So you can see there are lots of cool ways to dive in here and edit your sounds. So say you've found the most wonderful preset, you've modded all your sounds, you think it sounds great, but actually you would quite like to play that groove in or at least have a go at playing the groove yourself. Well, of course, we could just arm the EXO channel and then it lights up here on my push screen. I can just play. But this layout is the Ableton MIDI instrument layout What's extra cool is we could, in fact, by clicking this arrow, drag all of our raw samples into a fresh Ableton drum rack. So now if I go to my Ableton drum rack here, it's empty, then I'm gonna pop over to EXO, drag and drop these samples into a drum rack. We could then finger drum with the drum rack. So that's an awesome way that if you want to perform with the drum rack on stage, but find and choose all your samples from EXO. There's quite a few ways we can do this. We can export MIDI clips, we can export WAVs, we can even just keep the sequencer running. So let's go through these options now. So the most easy and quick way to do it is just to, this little triangle here, sync up with Ableton. And you can keep this running then, I could play some chords, and make up my song. And this works fine for a quick bit of improvisation, but how I like to work is to drag those MIDI clips out and get them into my session or my arrangement view window. We're gonna head to this little button here, show, hide our WAV and MIDI panel. And up here then we've got all the things we can play with. So this is so clever. Now we can just take one sample, we can take stems, we can take the beat as the wav, but the first thing I'm gonna show you is we're gonna use beat as MIDI. So now I'm just gonna drag and drop this into my EXO channel. Basically what you can hear playing on the sequencer is now gonna be converted into that MIDI clip. So dragging out the MIDI clips is really great when we're building a drum structure. So for example, I could mute the hi-hat and mute the bass here from my rock disco preset. Uh, press play. The 
this sounds cool for the start, I'm going to drag that midi clip out. And then how about I want to bring that hi-hat in? I'm going to drag this midi clip out. And then maybe I want to unmute this bass note now. So what I've created then is like a little drum structure. So now if we jump out of EXO, we can jump into Ableton's MIDI note editor and we can play with the MIDI there, we can mute things here, we can move things around. Now let's look at the exact same thing here but doing it with audio instead of MIDI. So a little button here, render WAVs. And there we go, we've got the individual stems for each part, we've got the individual hits, raw and processed, and then we can drag out the whole clip which is bounced down as a WAV there, you can see it in its lovely waveform, solo it. Or we then can drag one stem at a time. So there are quite a few different workflow approaches here for integrating EXO within your door. Whether you want to work with stems and audio or MIDI, just have a little play and see what feels good for you. Something super cool which I need to show you is the beat combiner. So if I click this button here, it's going to suggest to us some alternate patterns. So let's have a little listen. And it's gonna suggest some other ideas for us. A random one. And again. That's cool. And then this just gives me another little MIDI clip to play with and drag and drop into my channel. This can give me some great breakdown groove sections and just some sections in the song where I can switch up the groove. I can then lay out all the ideas in the structure of a song. Now this is a track that is definitely a work in progress, but you can see here are the little different clips. And stepping up the structure here a little bit with the kick drum and the chorus. One step further. Now this brings me nicely on to a really cool feature that EXO comes with. And even though I've got my MIDI clip here uh, with all my sounds in, I can actually separate them out into their own channels so I can process things separately. So there's a really easy way to do this and that is to create however many channels of separation you want for your drum kit. So currently I've got the kick drum separated. So now let's separate out another hit from this MIDI clip into its own channel so I can process it by itself. I'm gonna create a new audio track. I'm gonna set the monitoring to in in Ableton. I'm gonna set the channel to the XO channel which is 37 audio. And then I'm gonna to go to my post mixer and choose a bus. So I'm going to choose bus 3 from EXO, hop over to EXO here, here's this hi-hat sound, and then this little M here, which stands for master out, let's put that to bus number 3. And so here we go now, we've got clap and a little bit of a kick, another kick here, and this cute little clave hi-hat thing. And we could separate out the whole kit if we wanted to, and that way then we can come in and process them with all of the audio effects that we have available to us in our DAWs. So this is the way I'm currently working. I find this quite effective, quite fast, just dragging MIDI clips out of EXO and then using separation with the buses to process them separately. So there we have it. That is the end of my EXO world tour. I really hope this video was insightful for you, interesting, and will help you to progress in making your beats. I wanna say a massive thank you to XLN Audio for getting me involved and in creating an expansion pack, always supporting my career and collaboration with me on this video. If you want to see more from me then please head over to my Patreon. This platform enables me to keep making the videos I love. I've got loads of additional content over there, tutorial videos, stems, sample packs and the whole community. We're making music every month and having parties and celebrating listening to our own music. Also if you want to learn Ableton Live I've got two courses, how to produce and how to perform. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Mwah.